hello virgo welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be for virgo sun moon rising venus and north node please remember to flip and switch the roles guys i could be talking about someone else in your energy also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation okay so let's see what's coming out for you guys virgo let's get the messages for you all i'm using the priestess of the light oracle one message for virgo spirit what are the messages okay let's see okay thank you spirit so we have number 29 okay you guys could be saying 29 or you could be the age 29 so we have wisdom learning joy art and music okay bottom of the deck we have 30 setting boundaries threshold protection honor i think aquarius had this you could be dealing with an aquarius or have aquarius in your chart so let's see some of you guys could be getting really creative here or you are creative maybe you discovered a newfound talent or some of you guys could be artists or music. Some of you guys could be content creators like me or something. But let's see. Some of you guys are honing into your skills here, your work, it looks like. But, okay, page 84. Okay, so we have the goddess Sarasvati. Oh, Sarasvati, yeah. Holds a musical instrument in two hands and extends her other arms outward in joy. She stands at the door to the temple, encouraging you to enter a new period of learning and, ex and exploration. This card heralds a time of deepening wisdom for you. It may be gained through personal investigation or through school or other formal courses of study. Don't dismiss this potential for learning. There is a profound gratification that comes from this pursuit, whatever the subject may be. It's possible that your path of study will relate to some form of art or music. If you have an interest in these or other creative endeavors, now will be the time to dive right in. Take a class, go to a museum, or surround yourself with the music and art forms that bring you joy. The swan represents the connection between the mind and heart as you open, I mean, as you, yeah, as you open your mind to greater understanding and to joyous new experiences, your heart will glow with inner satisfaction. In addition, your life force will sing with beauty, grace, and irresistible attraction. Okay, for your affirmation, we have, I always choose to learn and grow. The music and art of life inspires me. So this is nice. Some of you guys could actually be singers. You have really nice voices here. But you do something very creative that I feel like you're very passionate about it or something like that. You guys could be models too, I just heard. Somebody here could be a model or something like that. So there's a new creative endeavor that you are trying to pursue or you're in the middle of that. Maybe you could be feeling like you need to take a class or you need to do some studying to get better at something that you want to um, do. But some of you guys are just exploring new things in your life, okay? Because maybe your heart is open. I'm, I'm hoping that it is. Or maybe you need to open your heart and your mind to new um, experiences to gain new insight on some things or to learn something new or something like that. But let's see, what, what's going on for Virgo spirit? What's going on for Virgo, please? So bottom of the deck, we have fake accounts, fake social media accounts to spy, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and et cetera. So automatically what I'm picking up, if you guys do work on the internet, <laughs> Honey, yeah, you already know somebody is stealing from you, stealing your work here or something like that. Somebody here makes fake, ac fake accounts to either troll you or steal your work at the same time. It's like somebody really hates you, but they love you too. <laughs> like, okay. Hmm, I just smell hot sauce. So some of you guys will be putting hot sauce on something. I'm hearing something about putting hot sauce on your greens, your fish, or something. I, I smell something about hot sauce, so you really like hot sauce. I just smell that shit. Like, I don't know where that came from. Somebody here could be eating fried chicken or could be frying chicken or something. But if you're eating something with some hot sauce, somebody does. Hmm. <laughs> pregnancy test. Unsure, pregnancy scare, positive or negative. So somebody here could be having cravings for spicy shit. Somebody here that's pregnant could be watching you or you're pregnant. You're, you're keeping an eye on somebody because they acting a the goddamn fool or something. Yeah, divorce. Hmm. So somebody could be pregnant shit what i just know if you if you want the answers yeah you probably are virgo if you if you want to know if you're pregnant you hmm. 
It says no facts, never has the facts, make shit up, lies. So somebody here could be lying about a pregnancy too. They could be saying that they're having all these cravings or that they're feeling some type of way and their ass is lying. I feel like they're trying to stall you or, or cause a stalemate. They don't want you to do something here that you want to do. It says curious about you. So someone here is thinking about you. Let's see what this is. Doing drugs. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is standing your ground ready for battle, defending yourself. Then we have child neglect, bad parenting, scared of, hates parents, etc. Screenshots, cock blocking. Hmm. So yeah, obviously somebody's trying to stop you from moving on. They could be using children here. I feel like somebody is negligent towards their kids because they know that you're 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 the, the good parent. You're gonna come rushing in or something like that. I feel like somebody just wants to be in your presence. They could be saying that you're damn that they're pregnant and they're not. Somebody here could be saying that they have these pregnancy symptoms or whatever the fuck. And if they are pregnant, it's probably not yours. So make sure you get a DNA test, just period. <laughs> if you're a man, I'm speaking to. So, okay. Um, that's that's something else there. So somebody here could do pills very heavy. They could pop pills or do coke or something like that. They do some type of hard drug or something. But or they drink a lot. I feel like somebody somebody could possibly do both. I feel like somebody thinks about you a lot when they're under the influence. Okay, there's a lot of shit going on here. I feel like some of you guys are very creative. You're an artist of some sort, but somebody, whatever this is that's in the way could be stopping this, whatever you're trying to do. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Yeah, something creative that you want to do that's going to bring you ultimate happiness. But what's this fake account? Eight of Wands, Four of Wands, see? You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, there's a wish fulfillment that's coming in really quickly. For some of you, you could be getting news about a home. Okay, you could be getting news about a home situation here. Some of you guys could be moving. Congrats. Yeah, you could be saving up for something here that you really want to do. Some of you guys are on the stage. You're a speaker. You do something that brings you wish fulfillment here. I feel like you're very satisfied. You're comfortable. You're good. Yes. Hmm. Huh. The four of pentacles with the page of wands, the empress. Yeah, some of y'all could be pregnant. <laughs> you could be pregnant. Here's a child with the four of pentacles. You could be hiding it or somebody here trapped someone here with the pregnancy. This could be somebody's baby mother or baby daddy. Yeah, they probably don't know who the child's father is or something like that. Yeah, this is a secret or they're hiding it or they're trying to. Hmm. So there could be news about a pregnancy coming in. For some of you, it just might be you, you that's pregnant, but it doesn't mean you're the karmic or anything. It could just mean that, that you're pregnant. Congrats. But if it's a karmic doing it, I mean, shit, congrats to them too, but it looks like they're in a mess. Somebody's in a messy ass situation with the karmic that's pregnant or saying that they're pregnant by them. And I feel like they're not. This is just to keep somebody stuck or trapped or whatever. Or they're using children to do this. Maybe they already have children by someone. I mean, by this person. So, all right. It was fake accounts. Hierophant could be dealing with the Taurus, the Devil, and the Emperor in reverse. Could be dealing with an Aries. Wow. So we have three majors coming out. The Emperor, Aries, Energy, the Hierophant, Taurus, and the Devil is Capricorn. Hmm. So somebody, somebody's baby daddy or baby mama is watching from fake accounts here. This person... They want you to conform to them. They want you to listen to what they have to say. They want you to have some type of control over you here. Control over all your moves, your life here. Control over the kids if you have kids with them. Because uh, this emperor here could be your masculine Virgo. They could be going through something like this in the background that you don't know about. Or maybe you do. Flip it, switch it. But somebody here is unstable. Somebody wants to keep somebody stuck in a commitment. Somebody here could be stuck in a commitment with somebody that's very controlling. They could even be very abusive. They could be very... They abuse their position of authority here. Somebody here, I don't know. I feel like someone thinks that someone else is very weak. They have some type of control over this person. Somebody here has an inferiority complex too. They think that they're some type of god, or they have the they have power, some type of. I, I don't know. This shit looks crazy though. Yeah, somebody's very possessive, very controlling. Four of Pentacles. Somebody here could even be greedy. They're very selfish. Yeah, so something here is stopping someone from being a leader, stopping stopping someone from, um, could be starting their own business, could be whatever. 
mean, it could be somebody's old ways to stopping them. But I feel like this is, mm -hmm. yeah, five of swords. Um, it could be somebody's old, like outdated belief systems or old patterns or something like that. Or somebody's definitely dealing with a karmic energy that's very controlling, very toxic, I feel. Or they stuck they stuck in a marriage like that. Yeah, the magician. So yeah, thank you, spirit. Somebody could be doing magic. I wasn't trying to say that. I really wasn't. But the hierophant and the devil just gives me somebody being a fake ass priest or a fake ass spiritualist. Somebody here that does spell work. They do the bad kind, dark magic. Okay, to keep someone stuck. What's what's the emperor in reverse? Yeah. <laughs> As soon as, as soon as this came out, the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse came out, you could be dealing with the Sag, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or an Aquarius. But as soon as this came out, I feel like somebody is like in the middle of someone else's karma. I don't know where that came from. So if your person is dealing with a third party, they're in a mix of somebody else's bullshit here. They're being dragged in or sucked in in a certain way. Or this is you. It could be happening to you. But somebody's getting bad karma. It could be your own masculine going through that. There's like a lot of upheaval and chaos going on in someone's life. And it's... It looks like with these majors, this is a major test or a major life lesson that somebody here needs to take accountability for or um, look into, like, deeper. <laughs> like, this is deeper meaning to all this shit here. Hmm. So somebody here is watching your social medias, too. Some of you guys could be a spiritualist. You could be a spiritualist here. You do something in the public eye like me. You do tarot readings or something like that. Somebody's getting bad karma for something, man. Something is not turning in someone's favor. Whoever this person is that's abusing their position of authority, they ass is getting it bad. What's the hierophant? Okay, the king of pentacles. Yeah, it's like somebody is married. Yeah, eight of wands with the seven of swords. The hierophant with the king of pentacles, this is definitely um, pointing towards like a marriage or somebody's in a long-term commitment or they're like stable somewhere else. They give their time and their energy somewhere else. It could be your masculine or, yeah, there's the lover's a choice between two with the seven of swords. So somebody here is cheating. Somebody's like in and out with you or being sneaky or it's like it's like somebody has to plan around speaking to you. So if the communication is, is like in between, you know, very few in between, it's because this person here is in a marriage or they're stuck with someone else and they're getting bad karma with this person. Like spirit is trying to keep you away from this person because they are experiencing a lot of problems and really bad ones. Okay, what what's the devil? Yeah, somebody's like loyal to a situation, King of Pentacles. It's like they the King of Pentacles is somebody that's committed. They're very generous, they're very kind, they're very um you know, that's that's the trace of the King of Pentacles, but with this coming out, I just feel like somebody is stuck with somebody that's controlling. What's the devil? Yeah, the hangman. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this is this person watching your ass. This person is very passionate about you. Yeah, but I feel like they're blocked. They can't they can't talk to you until they release whatever this is that they're dealing with, or this is your ass. Some of y'all could make a living off of being spiritualist here. You do something here in the spiritual realm here. You're there could be a lot of warfare here going on, is what I'm picking up. But definitely somebody's spying on you. Page of Swords, King of Wands behind that. Okay, it could be a masculine energy that's really passionate about you. They're watching you. I feel like they want to speak some type of truth, but I feel like they're not saying anything. They're very quiet. They just sit and watch you here. They don't know what to say. I feel like they're very scared to reach out to you, but they come off as like they're very confident. They're very secure within themselves, but when it comes down to you, they're the opposite. And they don't know what to say. This person here, they could, could have been a player in the past or something like that. And I feel like you blocked this person because you don't have time for the bullshit. Yeah, um... But the hangman here. So, yeah, this is why somebody is just watching you. Because I feel like somebody wants to have control over you. But then there's somebody else. There's a person here that I feel like that's your person. They're actually watching you. So, the third party, I feel like, is watching your person. And then the, your person is watching you. I feel like the third party is watching both you and your person. For some of you, it's like that. The hangman, this is um needing, something needing to be released and let go of. This is what the hang-up is. This is a hold-up. Somebody here needs to step into their emperor energy. They're not an emperor right now because they're in reverse. They're not They're not standing up for themselves or taking their power back from a situation. It's like somebody's getting ran all over or something like that is what I'm picking up. Like, 
the hangman is, is needing to make sacrifices or needing to somebody here could have been um definitely like doing some weird shit like some sinister dark cult shit like somebody's in a occult or something yeah a dark one a very dark one like a, a coven of, of some sort or something is very sinister about that but and yeah and they ask is getting karma so if there's multiple people in it they're not going to see the light of day they're gonna they're gonna be really um dealt with who's this king of pentacles let me see something yeah five of swords seven of cups yeah somebody's doing i feel like somebody is doing this to a king of pentacles somebody's doing this to a masculine Somebody's like playing these head games or mind games or something like that. There's a cult or a coven doing this to keep somebody stuck or trapped. What's the what's the devil with the hangman? Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so for some of you, it could be a fire sign doing this. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Cancer, or uh, um, a Pisces, Capricorn. It could be any damn body. Aries, Taurus. Could be anybody. Y'all, I swear. <laughs> but King of Wands in reverse is somebody that's a tyrant. Somebody, somebody is doing spell work to keep somebody <clears throat> from taking action. King of Wands in reverse is somebody that takes action. But I feel like somebody is really being oppressed right now. And it's, I feel like it's deeper than what meets the eye. So definitely some spiritual shit is going on here. Somebody's like in a dark place. Yeah, somebody's like very weak or somebody's doing spell work to keep somebody very weak or whatever. It could be some of you, it's your own father or somebody that you're married to that's doing this, like, or in a family dynamic, somebody here that, I don't know, but someone could be paying somebody. I feel like somebody's getting rich off of spell work. Like somebody's get somebody pays someone to do a lot of spell work here. It could be your own father or something like that. Some weird shit. It could be like a father and son thing is what I'm picking up. Or it could be it could be any damn body. But this is, whatever this shit is, it's messy. Whatever that shit is over there, it's really bad. Hmm. I feel like this, this person plays a lot of mind games with you because they come in under some type of spell. Like they don't come in the right way. They come in towards you very, um on and off and when they do come in it's like something is always weird so leave me some comments let me know yeah ace of swords so i'm telling the truth <laughs> i must be telling the truth leave me some comments and let me know if that's the case for some of you because it's like i don't know it's like they want this commitment with you they want to be stable with you but they always do some weird shit to fuck it up but it's because there's some spell work going on what's what's the pregnancy test right here for virgo yeah, because we do have two masculines here. Okay, let me just keep going real quick. Um, so we have the Hermit in Reverse, Ten of Principles. What um, what else for the pregnancy test right here? Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Wow, yeah, so we have the Queen to so the King of Pentacles. Okay, so... Like somebody is stuck in a damn marriage child ten of pentacles with the hermit in reverse the hermit in reverse talks about um feeling stuck in fear so somebody here could, could have been stuck with somebody that they got pregnant it's like somebody is is they're just in this shit for stability only they're dealing with somebody that could be very abusive very aggressive very jealous and competitive king of wands in reverse is that this devil energy is keeping someone stuck and I do feel like somebody here is kind of like stuck and they're scared to get out of a marriage. But this could also alternatively mean that somebody is withdrawing their energy from a toxic situation. So we're going to clarify and see what, which one this is. Yeah, but the Ten of Pentacles is here and the Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit. I feel like um, when you guys come out, if this is you guys, Virgo, you're going to come out of Hermit mode and you're going to get pregnant if you're dealing with someone else. Because clearly... These people over here, if this is your person dealing with this third party situation, they're not ready for you yet because they're still dealing with this shit. Whatever this shit is, is toxic. So you can't even fuck with them right now. I feel like you're starting something new. You're building, you're building something for yourself here, um, Virgo. So the moment y'all pop out with the hermit in reverse, the moment y'all say, oh, well, let me go have some fun, you know, let me try to get back out there and start dating somebody else. I feel like you're going to find somebody and you're going to get pregnant. Okay, that could be for somebody. If it's not happened yet, it's going to maybe for some of you. Just take it how it resonates. But 
yeah, this is like mother energy. This is like you taking care of the home. You're very domesticated here. Um, Virgos are very stylish too. They're very, um, I don't know, I'm a Virgo rising. So I kind of like, I like Virgo style, but nonetheless, I don't know. I feel like you're getting ready to be settled. You're getting ready to settle into a relationship here. Something that's committed you're going to be able to build this is an empire being built here building on a legacy here continuing the legacy or whatever this is but i feel like you're very stable you're grounded i don't feel like this is fear this is if this is talking about you i don't think it's fear i think it's just you you popping out of hermit mode it's like you're coming out of isolation or something we finna see though what's what's the queen of pentacles yeah because well, the king of pentacles is here i keep forgetting that that's that that's there but I feel like that King of Pentacles, your person, they're stuck somewhere else. That is your, your partner. But it's like they're stuck doing something. And you're going to move on or something like that. It's crazy shit. Or this is them. Like I said, they're married to somebody here that they're stuck with. Could be either or. Let's keep, keep going. Let's see. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, Two of Wands. Yeah, so you're going to have to make a decision or you're waiting for something. Yeah, because something is over. Ten of Swords with the Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands. There is a betrayal here, a, a harsh one, a brutal one. So some of you guys could be moving or relocating. Some of you guys could be waiting for results too with the Two of Wands. Or your, this is what, yeah, because this is future. Two of Wands is a future energy. So this is like planning for the future. This is what you're doing. I feel like you're really, really working. I feel like you're going to fall pregnant at some point. <laughs> okay, like just period but yeah this is um new opportunities coming towards you here this could be a partnership definitely a partnership two of wands because you're by yourself right now you're building upon this legacy on your own but i feel like somebody's going to come in and help you build it okay now for some of you it doesn't ha it doesn't have to be twins you could be finding your life partner here somebody that you're just going to build with that's going to make you happy just period a deep deep soulmate connection or something what's the hermit in reverse some of you guys are planning for work though. Yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. You're dropping a burden. I feel like you're dropping some type of burden here. Yeah, Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. What's the Hermit in reverse with the Ten of Wands in reverse? King of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Okay, give me a second, Virgo. So I feel like I feel like somebody here, first of all, the King of Cups in Reverse could talk about a married man. I already feel like somebody here is already married. <laughs> That's just number one. Married man or woman doesn't matter. Somebody's already in a committed relationship. This person, they with the hermit in reverse being clarified by the Ten of Wands in reverse and the damn hermit. I mean uh, the King of Cups in reverse. Somebody, this this person here, they're too scared to express their feelings towards you. They're they're overly burdened. They're overly stressed here. They're having a tired moment. Whoever this is, they miss you. Whoever this is, they miss you. I feel like you're meeting someone else though, Virgo, that you're gonna build with because this person here is emotionally unavailable. They're emotionally immature and they're stuck somewhere where they're already committed. Like they're already committed in a relationship. If it's not a relationship, they're already somewhere else. Like they're doing something else outside of you two, basically. Because they can't give you any emotions. It's like they're oppressing themselves. They feel oppressed. Okay, I feel like they, they had a lot of their feelings here. But this person is not listening to their intuition either. It's like they're blocked. And this is them, like, withdrawing themselves from you. I feel like this person is kind of depressed. Whoever this is, this is this could be your... For some of you, it's a twin flame dynamic I'm picking up on. That this person can't give you everything that you need emotionally. So I feel like you're meeting a life partner. You're meeting somebody here that's going to, you're meeting somebody new for some of you. This is a person that you're going to build with that can give you equal give and take that's going to give you 100, 100 in a relationship. What is this um, King of Cups in reverse doing? Because this is this could be them being emotionally manipulative, but let's see something. What's this King of Cups in reverse doing? Yeah, Eight of Cups in Reverse. Yeah, so so this is this person. I feel like somebody has deep feelings for you, but they're stuck. They ass is stuck. Whoever this is, <laughs> whoever the fuck this is, they is stuck. I feel like they're stuck given to a, a different situation. 
they could be trying to come towards you very quickly but i feel like if something is over i feel like spirit is not going to let this person come towards you unless they do it the right way but the eight of cups in reverse is definitely somebody that has abandonment issues i feel like somebody has commitment issues okay eight of cups in reverse talks about insecurities being stuck or feeling trapped pretending that you're happy in a situation that you're not happy in and i feel like this is you moving forward you're planning for your future and all that but i feel like this person here they're stuck that's what this hermit is in reverse it can have alternative meanings in reverse but i feel like this person is withdrawing themselves from you or vice versa and this is somebody here being stressed like i feel like this ten of wands is represented in reverse this is somebody being hella stressed with all this shit in reverse right here the hermit the king of cups and the eight of cups all in reverse with this this is not them dropping the burden this is them suffering is <laughs> is worse it's worsening whatever the burden is is worsened so I, I don't know if somebody's depressed or they just i don't know guys this shit is it's pretty insane there so let's see what's what's the ten of pentacles what's the ten of pentacles yeah two of swords yeah so two of swords in reverse Yeah, so I feel like um, somebody's seeing something clearly. This could be you. Okay, you're seeing something very, very much so, very like clear. Excuse me. Two of Swords in Reverse is like coming out of stalemate or stagnation. It's like you made a decision or you're going to be. For some of you, this is happening in the future. If you're not, if it hasn't happened now, it's probably going to happen in the near future or something. But, um, but it's shit. It's going to be in the Ten of Pentacles. So, I mean, it's the right move if you ask me. Cause this is just not just talking about money it's prosperity abundance joy i feel like everything is going to be a a nice family dynamic here you're going to be wealthy and very happy so what the fuck yeah you're not going to be confused or being led astray okay two of swords in reverse it's like um uh what am i trying to say spirit <laughs> um having a clear head like you know what to do here you know you know what choice you need to make and shit like that you know two of swords alternatively could also mean yeah it could mean that you're seeing the truth it could also mean something that's been postponed for a while this legacy of yours or whatever this is it's been postponed Okay, the two of swords alternatively could, alternatively could also mean like delays and indecision. So let, let's just see. What's the two of swords in reverse? See, yeah, you're you're being guided here with the temperance. You could be dealing with the sag. What's the... Okay, spirit. <clears throat> that got messy really quick. All right. What's this um, two of swords in reverse with this ten of pentacles, spirit, please? Upright. Yeah, six of wands. Yeah, so so this is this is something. I feel like this is something coming out of a stalemate. Whatever delays this was, going to pick up because I feel like um, this could be about your work too. You know, you know your path here. You know where you're being guided. So I feel like spirit is aligning everything for you here because somebody here is not on your level. They just can't give you what you want. And I feel like your match is here. There's a commitment coming with you and this King of Pentacles with this damn um, the higher fence and the king of pentacles being clarified by the five of swords is telling me do not sabotage this opportunity because i feel like this is something that's coming in that you're going to really like okay i feel like that something is going to stop being postponed so if it's your love life i feel like that's going to pick up speed if it's your damn work life i feel like something is going to pick up speed here you're going to gain recognition and a victory in something yeah so yeah hmm very interesting And I feel like somebody's just going to be mad. Whoever this is, whoever can't step up to the plate here, because we have the Emperor in reverse, King of Wands in reverse, and the King of Cups. Whoever all these fucking losers are, they really going to be fucked up when they see your ass out in public with your new boo or being celebrated or being rewarded and recognized for your hard work or whatever the fuck this is. Somebody's going to be in their feelings because they should have did right by you just period the first goddamn time. If they didn't lie or do whatever the fuck, then they wouldn't be dealing with this shit. So whatever. Moving on. Um... Somebody here could definitely be being abused, though, too, is what I was feeling. Whoever this is over here, this, this shit is messy. I don't know. It's like somebody's being watched really, really heavy. So, anywho, what is what is no facts? 
<clears throat> no facts for Virgo. Okay, see, we have the Queen of Cups with the Six of Cups in reverse and the Five of Cups. So, what's at the bottom? Five of Wands. Hmm. So, yeah, this person... So, we have the Queen of Cups with the King of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> Bro. I feel like this is a karmic energy, guys, that... They ass is lying. First of all, I feel like somebody's lying about some kids. Okay, something involving some kids, they're a liar. They could have said that somebody is not, or or that this person is not the father, or they, that they are the father, um, per se. And that was a lie. I feel like somebody here from this person's past, or your past is being released, first of all. Somebody here could really have a drinking problem, or they could have, definitely, yeah, doing drugs. Somebody has a drug addiction. That could be really weighing them down. The Six of Cups in Reverse talks about... um going to counseling or getting a help or a rehabilitation center so somebody here needs to get help for that maybe or something like that okay i feel like somebody's letting go of the past so somebody's trying to grow up and mature or somebody is now has now grown up and matured or it could be you yeah this could be you virgo it could be you you could be kind of like sad about what happened in the past but you're having to release this person to get your wish fulfillment because otherwise it wouldn't come in if you don't i feel like you're, you've grown you've matured you've released something you've let it go you're not going to sit here and be used or you're not going to be, keep dealing with somebody that's being in and out or not really telling the truth or whatever something like that is going on here i just feel like this shit is crazy <laughs> i feel like it's a lot going on i'm picking up on a lot of energies and I haven't done my readings in like five days because I needed to take a break my goddamn self. I needed a break. So with me doing these readings now, it's like shit like really hit the fan. <laughs> it's a lot going on here. So somebody's in competition with you over a new beginning. There's a new beginning that you want to go towards. I feel like somebody's just really bitter about it. That you're being celebrated or you're getting this attention or whatever this is. Somebody's baby mother or baby daddy definitely could be negligent. And I feel like the masculine here is just depressed. They're just full-blown depressed. They're really, really reaching burnout. Somebody is really struggling. With the Ten of Wands in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, this is depression. This is physically drained, chronic fatigue. This is like feeling very bad, feeling very overwhelmed. Somebody here could be, even be sick. So these could be withdrawal symptoms. Somebody here is trying to heal. There are drug addictions here, which is good. But I feel like with the Hermit in reverse, it's like... I don't know. You know sometimes how addictions can be, I guess. If you watch enough shows or watch enough TV or if you've been a drug addict yourself, then you know how it is, right? So, I, I don't know. But let's see. What's what's this Queen of Cups? Who is this? <clears throat> because, okay, they asked, flipped out in the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So, this Queen of... Yeah, this is the person... This person, whoever this is, is a karmic. Your person is dealing with somebody that's a karmic. This is a very emotionally toxic, like abusive, like a very emotionally charged relationship. Like when they, when these two get mad, I feel like they, they do mean shit to one another. This is a very superficial person. They're very materialistic. This person is not a pentacle in reverse. It's somebody that's codependent too. So this person is very codependent on, on your person, it looks like. And they ass is stuck dealing with this person. It's like they don't know how to stand up to them or this person has a, a drug issues it's like they enable somebody somebody's enabling somebody's drug use to keep them stuck or bound and this is what was if their spell work this is what's helping the spell work this is what's driving the spell work to keep working if somebody is doing this because somebody is under the influence you know when you get intoxicated like that it's easier for toxic entities to, to come in to get inside you so if there's spell work being done, somebody knows the tricks of the trade here. Somebody knows how to keep tricking somebody to keep getting them to drink or smoke or be under the influence. Or somebody could be putting something in someone's food or drinks or something like that is what I heard too. To, I, I don't know, bro. It's some weird shit going on here. But definitely not a pentacles in reverse to somebody that's very codependent. They're unreliable too. Somebody here is in debt really bad as well. Somebody's a gold digger. What's the Queen of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? 
this shit. Yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's lazy as fuck too. Somebody's very lazy. Very lazy. I feel like somebody doesn't work. They want things to be handed to them here. They they I feel like this person is emotionally abusive towards this king of cups. Or for some of you, it could be the masculine that's doing this to a woman. I don't fucking know. But I feel like since this person is coming out with the nine of pentacles in reverse, three of pentacles in reverse, and the king of cups is coming out with the eight of cups in reverse. This woman here is the one that's using this person for their finances. I feel like they're losing everything. And this person is stuck because they're trying to keep pleasing this person. It's not working. It's just not fucking working. This person keeps lying and making up shit. It's like somebody here could possibly not be pregnant with the six of cups in reverse. Like, or if they are, it's not, it's not his, whoever the king of cups is. So I don't fucking know. But yeah, something is going to be exposed though. Yeah, some of you guys have seen in the public eye. Oh, you're this empress here. Taurus Libra energy with the Aquarius energy, the star and the Leo, um, I mean the sun, Leo energy. So yeah, you're going straight towards your happiness. And this is this person dealing with this goddamn karmic. It's so back and forth, bruh. Like, I, I don't fucking know, but it's like somebody keeps trying to make some shit work that's just not fucking working. But the three of pentacles in reverse is laziness. This is somebody not putting in um, effort. This is a, a <clears throat> somebody realizing they can't work with somebody. Somebody is, is failing to compromise. Or they're just not putting in no work here. This is somebody that's, that has no goals, no ambition, no drive to do anything better for themselves. They want everything handed to them on a silver platter. So this is this person using this King of Cups in reverse. This is why they can't give to you. So the spirit is blessing you. I feel like with somebody new because you're on your shit. I feel like you, you're on your shit. You have everything that you need. So now it's your time to live out your legacy. It's your time to get pregnant, start a family. You know what I'm saying? Have somebody that's really going to commit to you and be 10 toes down. I feel like this person, they want to, but they can't. That's the difference. Like a big difference. They want to, but they can't. It's, it's very frustrating. So I feel like spirit is blessing you with something else. What is the six of cups in reverse? Yeah, page of wands in reverse. Yeah, child not being yours. <laughs> somebody here is probably, they're going to get bad news about a child not being theirs. Okay, this could also talk about, yeah, somebody being bitter, jealous, hateful. I feel like somebody rushed into something that now they can't they can't fix. This person is broke. The karmic here is broke. They ass can't even take care of these kids that they made. And now your person feels bad about walking away because they feel like, oh, well, this person's not going to have no money to take care of the kids. What are they going to do? And I feel like it's more so this person's heart. They care about the kids and everything like that, but it's not helping them any. It's not, it's not helping them any. So I, I don't know, man. I don't goddamn know, Virgo. Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this is like hasty energy. This is rushing. This is um, bad news. Somebody here could have a sex addiction too. They could have, somebody could be healing from child abuse or sexual assault or something like that. King of Cups in reverse could talk about somebody that's a, a rapist, okay? Sensitive, sensitive uh, words, but that is what the card represents. King of Cups in reverse, reverse represents somebody that's a molester. A rapist, somebody that's just um very, I don't know, a problem, a predator, basically. <clears throat> Who did I get this for, bruh? So for some of you, the karmic is already dealing with somebody that's like this. The karmic is stuck with somebody that is like this here. Somebody could be finding out that someone abused their children. So if the karmic went off and ran off to be with someone else, if the karmic left your masculine, right? To be petty and be bitter. They ran off with someone here that's a damn rapist or a predator and they didn't know it. And now they have to deal with that shit here. Somebody could have a drinking addiction or, or something. They Somebody does have addictions, whether it's sex, drugs, whatever. And I feel like them and that couple, they're, they're not okay. I feel, so I feel like this is a couple here. Then there's you and your person right here, right? King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. This is you and your person. Whatever story this is, I'm picking up on is, is somebody's karmic that's going through this too. They're going through some bullshit here. <clears throat> and the karmic. Okay. I almost blocked my throat. I must be on point. And the karmic here is trying to sabotage this new beginning for your, your masculine when it comes down to you and them. Y'all follow me? So yeah, it's just it's just some bullshit going on right here, man. I feel like there's a lot of there's a backstory here to this. You're gonna have to find out from the source. <laughs> when they decide to fucking finally tell you, I guess. But hopefully I'm Hopefully your intuition, you feel like I'm on point with what I'm saying, because maybe that's what you've already thought about or what your intuition was telling you. That's what Tarot is for, to give you more clarity and more guidance. That's what really made my intuition stronger. And that's what um, made me passionate about tarot readings, because I am naturally a good tarot reader. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it made me 
it just drove me deeper into um, tarot readings to help other people with guidance and insight. But anywho, yeah, something about a child here. There's like some child abuse going on. Definitely that, yeah. With the Six of Cups in reverse and the damn Page of Wands in reverse, somebody's child is being abused. So, you know, this is going to be a very triggering reading, but... <sighs> What's um this curious about you? Hmm. Hmm. Ace of Cups in reverse, Seven of uh, Wands in reverse, and the Queen of Wands. So we have the King. Wow. We have the King of Cups in reverse, Queen of Cups upright. King of Wands in reverse, Queen of Wands upright. Then we have two matches here. So I don't know what this, that shit is about, Virgo. <laughs> I really don't. Could be all type of people here. I don't fucking know. But... The Ace of Cups talks about um, a breakup. It talks about... Um, I feel like somebody is too weak to come towards you to tell you how they feel. I feel like this is also a suppression of emotions or somebody's oppressing themselves or trying to control how they feel about you. This person thinks about you night and day, but I feel like they just went through a breakup, for one. They just got a divorce or whatever the fuck they did. And so they can't... They're scared to tell you about that. Okay. And I also feel like they don't feel confident enough to come towards you. You're just queen of wands up, right? You, you have this confidence. You're, you're on your shit here. And I feel like somebody who doesn't, they feel like they can't measure up to who you are as a person. So this is somebody's insecurities, eight of cups in reverse. Somebody's very insecure for one. But this is definitely a breakup. This is a called off engagement or proposal here. I feel like this is unrequited love as well. So this person here that can't get to you, obviously, is unrequited. And I feel like you're you're in this energy of like, I know who I am. I'm sexy as fuck. I'm fine as hell. Like, I don't need to deal with this shit. So I feel like you're surrendering because you see that somebody here can't get to you equally. So you're letting it go. You're letting it go. Okay. You're not defensive. You're not none of that. It's just you're letting it go. That's just what it is. I feel like also this person could be surrendering too. They could be surrendering. But let's, let's just see what's going on here. Because definitely these are not matches. Queen of Wands. So I feel like, you know. I feel like you're realizing how incompatible somebody is with you. Somebody is just very much so incompatible. There's there's ways about this person you don't fuck with. Because all the queens are upright. It's the kings that are in reverse. Two of them are in reverse. So this person's assertiveness is off with the king of wands in reverse. Their confidence. They just, they really beat themselves up a lot. They're very insecure. King of cups in reverse is this person. They're, they're depressed. I feel like their emotions get the best of them. They're overly emotional. And when they get like that, they disappear. They shut you off. They isolate themselves from you. They don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to express their feelings. And I feel like you have those qualities that this person doesn't have. So even if they are your match, you're realizing that this person just cannot give to you like how you want them to. Just period. Just period. And I feel like you see that it's not something is just off between you and this person. So I feel like you're coming to that realization and you're surrendering. Because I just feel like, um, yeah, the world, something, yeah, moving on the chariot, yeah, and towards something new, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, this is about your work. For others of you, this is definitely about a relationship with all these damn matches. I don't know. But definitely, you're moving into something more solid and stable. Yeah, so let, let's see. What's um what's the Ace of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Realizing that you've wasted your time here. Realizing that you wasted your time and not investing any more energy into something here. So this person wants to see what you're up to, what you're doing, what's going on in your life. Uh Seven of Pentacles in reverse is definitely not investing. It's definitely um, you're growing impatient. There's been a lot of delays here. And it's due to somebody here not telling you the truth about them going through a, a separate bre a breakup. Somebody here made a bad financial decision. Somebody here could have gotten married to someone that they invested in, obviously financially, that caused them this bullshit. So, yeah, something could be going on in court too. With the Justice card, it could be dealing with the Libra. But this is karma. Somebody's going to have to own up to what the fuck they did. What's the seven of wands in reverse? You got to be saying seven, seven, seven. Yeah, the world. Yeah. So this is you. Yeah, six of swords. This is you allowing something to be over. This is you surrendering and letting something go. Because I feel like this person or whatever the fuck is going on here is weighing you down. I feel like you feel a certain type of way when you keep indulging or trying to embrace a connection that is unrequited. I feel like you're not investing anymore. You're moving on. You're closing a cycle here. You're taking back your power, Queen of Wands. And you're being very brave. This is a brave move because it's like you don't have the answers. You don't have the answers that you need. You're just closing a cycle out because 
your intuition is telling you so. And that could be hard for some people to listen to their intuition. They don't know what to do. That's why probably this person is stuck here because they're not listening to themselves. I feel like you are. Yeah, you you know, it's it's a tough thing to do, but you're being guided to do this. Six of Swords is literally um, moving out of a, a tough situation. Peaceful resolution here. I feel like you're trying to ghost the situation and start new, start fresh, because you've gained all the clarity that you needed. It's like, what else do you need to see? Could be dealing with the Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius with the world card. Yeah, so you successfully completed a cycle. Something is closed out because you successfully did it. You closed it out. There's rewar rewards and recognition for you closing out a cycle here. So what's the, who's the Queen of Wands? Hmm. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Bruh. <laughs> so, okay, Ten of Cups, Two of Cups. Okay, so before I say that, obviously there's spell work here, right? There's definitely been some spell work going on here. I just feel that energy anyways. This person, if, if somebody here is doing spell work, that shit is not working. That's that's for one, because the cycle is closing out anyway. So I feel like somebody's being very bitter around these parts. I don't know who the fuck it is, but it could be a woman. But who knows? What's um? So the Page of Pentacles in Reverse talks about somebody that's unreliable. This is somebody that you can't really depend on here. Definitely two children in Reverse. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. I thought I saw something else about a child. Yeah, Six of Cups in reverse. What's, who's this Queen of Wands with this Page of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, yeah, Ten of Wands. I mean, Ten of Cups, sorry. So, yeah. So, so whoever this Queen of Wands, bro, somebody has multiple personalities. I'm going to just say it. Somebody is really, I don't know. I feel like both people are very toxic. I don't know why I just really don't feel your energy like that, Virgo. I feel like this is somebody else. It could be another Virgo dealing with this as well because every time i do virgo's re virgo's readings i feel like another virgo is here okay there's a virgo watching and then there's a virgo that knows nothing about tarot and they're going through some bullshit on their end so you know this this person whoever this queen of wands is right they're known for doing spell work this person was doing separation spells to break you two apart here to cause the foundation of what you and your person was building to be weak and this caused a breakup this causes separation, unhappiness between you and your person. Also, I feel like they're going through a divorce. Whoever this is is going through a divorce here. Because, because of children. Like somebody's finding out that something about a child that's very hurtful or painful is what I'm feeling. Okay, Page of Pentacles in reverse automatically means dark magic. It does. But um, it also could just talk about somebody that's just unfaithful. Yeah, somebody's promiscuous. Somebody gets around. And they had a child with someone else or something like that happened. So, so they're closing this cycle out. That's what ha what's happening here. This person is breaking up with someone. But I still feel like that's you too. You, you, This person here is like, there's a lot of broken promises here. You're unhappy. You're not happy with whatever this is. So just take it how it resonates. Because obviously if you're in a third party, this person is dealing with a whole nother person. So, you know, but what's doing drugs? <clears throat> So we have the Five of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody here is getting left out in the cold. There could definitely be something going on in court, or maybe the authorities had to have been called here. Because, I don't know, it's like somebody wants to fight you. Five of Wands is like... I feel like there's this stable energy. There's somebody that's that really is on their shit. They're responsible. They're mature. They like to build, okay? They, they want to build a solid foundation. And I feel like you're taking off fast in your career or something is coming in. Or there's communication that somebody is trying to stop you from, from going towards. It's like somebody doesn't want you to move forward in your career or they don't want something to pick up speed. They don't want you to, to say something or do something. It's like somebody gets in the way every time something comes in or picks up. They, they get in the way. They try to be in competition with the other person. This is a love situation. Or this is somebody at your job here. This could be somebody that you work with that you trusted or invested time in. They asses, I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but they're definitely in the way. They're slowing things down. Knight of Pentacles, I feel like something is going to pick up speed, but once it does, there's going to be a fight or something. And the authorities are going to have to be called here. Yeah, it's like whoever this is, they, they get on these drugs and they don't know how to act. What's this Five of Wands? Yeah, King of Swords. Yeah, see what I'm saying? So the police. <laughs> somebody here could work for law enforcement. This could be actually somebody that works for law enforcement that's abusive. Okay. 
So it could be. But I feel like you set boundaries. Somebody here is setting boundaries with someone and they don't like it. So they're fighting. They're saying no. No to buying you drugs or no to whatever. It could be no to sex. Okay, yeah, the magician, the high priestess. Damn. Somebody here could be highly sexual too. They could be trying to um manifest a type of some type of sexual encounter and because you're not giving it to them they're mad they're upset it's like it's like i don't know somebody here is very they i don't know what what their problem is i feel like if this person has been abused as a as a child it's pouring over into their their life and it's whoever this karmic is they need to heal from that shit because it's it's not looking good but what's what's the knight of pentacles yeah the knight of cups so yeah, there's an offer that's trying to pick up speed is what I'm feeling like. Somebody is trying to, to heal so that way they can come towards you. I just feel like there's like fights and shit or drama in the background because the Knight of Pentacles is slower than the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is actually moving, putting one foot in front of the other. So I feel like something is picking up speed here. This is a romantic offer, a proposal of something serious long term with the Knight of Pentacles here. A romantic gesture, a date. What's the Eight of Wands? For some of you, you have a choice between two. So the one that's moving slower, I don't know, they might miss the mark. And you're going with somebody else. What's the Eight of Wands? Yeah, the Empress. See what I'm saying? In reverse. So the Empress and the Emperor in reverse. I feel like the two people are being very petty towards each other, bro. They are. Yeah, somebody's going to have to call the police on somebody. Because they, this person, the Empress in reverse is coming at somebody very fast with some type of communication or something that's being said. They're trying to offer whatever they can offer to get this fixed or whatever they're trying to do here with these drugs. I don't know. Somebody here could be going to jail for drugs. Somebody could could uh, sell drugs or something like that. But there's like a fight or something that's going to break out or it's already is happening. And I feel like you're trying to move on from the situation. But this Empress in Reverse is a fake empress they this is a false twin flame connection that somebody is stuck in the emperor in reverse and the empress these are two people that don't like each other they're false hmm so for some of you you've been dealing with a false twin okay so really i don't know look up what false twins are okay so let's pull from the um this deck really quick we 52 minutes in, man. I'm trying to... <clears throat> Energy interference, yeah. Then we have she-devil, malicious or spiteful woman. So, yeah, it is a woman doing this shit here to a masculine. They're the problem. They always come up when... It, uh, well, I see a man here. So, it could be man or woman, whatever. I'm not going to be gender specific here. But, yeah, it could be a man or woman. But somebody is trying to, yeah, somebody's wearing a fake mask here. I feel like this person is very like a seductress. They're trying to seduce people with their with their um the sex or their looks or something. Yeah, some of you guys could be moving to a soulmate connection or you're dealing with this soulmate, this karmic soulmate. What's the soulmate card? It says soulmate divine soul connection. What's the soulmate card? Yeah, total eclipse, two souls merging together. So yeah, you are yeah, you're coming you're coming into you're coming into a, a relationship, Virgo, with somebody that's stable. It says stable man, they got their shit together. Then we have war minded and militant. This is somebody that's going to fight for you. You know, not in a sense, well, nobody should really have to fight like that for nobody. But y'all know what I'm saying. Like they're gonna put in that work to get you and to keep you. Just period. So I feel like you are getting somebody. There's somebody coming in for you that's new. Okay, then we have scream, goes to extremes for attention. Yeah, somebody's crazy switching up they're switching up on you then we have energy vampire the per this person is draining your energy yes bruh it's, it's a time out for this shit here with this damn karmic whatever this karmic energy is or this could be your it, for some of you it's your twin that's draining your energy it's, it could be both bruh really someone needs to take care of their health so somebody here needs to eat more fruits and vegetables i think um aries just had that you could be dealing with an aries so some of you guys need to eat more fruits and vegetables, especially if you're pregnant. Make sure you're stocking up on fruits, vegetables, shit like that. Okay. Then we have strong female has been through a lot. Yeah. So I feel like that's you. It could be a strong man or strong woman. Doesn't matter. Then we have insatiable female. Never, never satisfied. Always wanting more. Yeah. Somebody here is 
they have a problem. Somebody has a sex addiction too, maybe. Or this is just this drug fix. They, they want these drugs or whatever drug that they're on. Then we have prideful person, emotional abuse. And then we have smudge, cleanse your space, phone, and yourself. Yeah, definitely do that. So somebody here is being emotionally abused. This is why this person has so much pride. They don't want to express their feelings. This person doesn't want to say what they need to say to you. And it's because they're being abused or they, they have been through this in the past. Which is stopping them from, yeah, stubborn. Yeah, this person is stuck in their ways. <laughs> Stable man, they got their shit together. And then we have happy relationship. Yeah, single bachelor, bottom of the deck. So, yeah, succubus. Bro, the if you're a Virgo masculine or if you're if you're dealing with the masculine, right, they're really being tested here with these succubus energies. Because somebody here is single, I feel like they look good. They're a nice looking man. But then there's women around this person that kind of like, um, yeah, this person is being tested or something like that. Yeah, because I feel like there's offers coming in and your person is going to have to set boundaries because a lot of these energies that's coming towards them is succubuses and it could be for you if you're a woman it could be incubus energy so really pay attention but definitely something about a relationship like i've been feeling five 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 on the timer so changes being made to your life your love life everything like that is changing you're definitely going to get somebody that's stable a stable man is coming into your life only you know who i'm talking about if it hasn't happened yet it's going to but there is stability coming into a relationship definitely that definitely stability so um definitely leave me some comments guys turn your notification bell on like subscribe um definitely turn your bell on so that way you guys can get my uploads for when i post and i will talk to you guys later bye